and that has an embargo. It's difficult now to. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 of tomorrow at so 1:30 p.m. We'll start with Andy. Wake okay, up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Today I, I am funny. I am funny. I am happy. No, funny. Maurizio, um, I looked at the team sheet tonight and saw that your bench was like a kindergarten, and there were some kids there that I mean, some of us not, never even heard of. Is there a chance? You, you said yesterday maybe that Unkunku and maybe one or two others maybe. Levi, Levi, Colwell. Sorry. Call Wilson, yes. call Wilson, maybe. I mean, A, is there a chance they could play? But B, more importantly, how important are those kids going to be for you if they're not? Because you cannot really afford to lose ground now. This head of steam, this momentum you have, you can't lose it now. No, the good thing that the players that need to arrive from insure, now they, they really know and they are going to feel in, then to feel that they need to make the effort. It's not because you are a big name. You are going. You have right to come here and go and to play and play in the way that you want. That is, I think, the most important uh, today uh, that we can learn. We can learn that it's not about quality, because when you are in Chelsea, suppose that you have the quality. But the most important thing is to go and work for the team. Is to play, giving your best and be in your best. Because if you, you know, go there. And and you no compete, and only you compete, or your your level is 50%. I think it's better another with less quality, maybe younger, but you know competing in in the best 100%. That is, you know, that happened during the season that maybe we have have lack of you know uh, some time player not in the best, you know, to to real compete and real, you know, to get the result that we deserve. Sorry. To Am I right in thinking you mean that some of the players may have to play despite being in pain? They may have to. No, no, no. I don't. I didn't say that. Yeah, sorry. That's what no, I thought you. No, I say that when you came from injury, from injury, you always need time to build your best. You know, condition. Yeah. To after to play in your best, and always because of different circumstances, setbacks. Always, we never uh, got or we get the whole team. In our best, right? You know, and okay. that is the is the difficult scene that sometimes explain why we were inconsistent. You know, during right. during the whole season. Okay. No, no, no. With pain, no, no one player play with pain. Yeah, right. Sure. Never, never. Okay. Okay. One more, Andy. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, how important is it then that those that everybody accepts what's required now? Because Europe is now going to be talked about in quite strong terms. That you can get into Europe. Do you think that's a realistic goal? And how important is it that those players realise that? The first part of the, of the question was if... The players realise that there can't be any more slips, no more inconsistency, if you want to get into Europe. Yeah, but we cannot blame them. I think the circumstance that happened, I'm trying to explain the circumstance, but we cannot blame the player. The player want to give their best for different circumstances. They cannot, you know, express themselves in the on, on the pitch. But of course, it's important that because today I seem to play against Tottenham, we show it that that uh, playing this way, competing in this way, we can, you know, to achieve what we want. Alex, BBC. Hi. Um, to the cameras, the interview after the game, you said enough is enough, and then you said the scrutiny is affecting the people that are making decisions. Uh, so it's it's a speculation about your. Future. Sorry, I say, the who is affecting the who, which in, people? In, in the press conference after the match, you said the speculation is affecting people who are taking speculation. Or scrutiny, scrutiny. No, no, they asked me. No, no, we we need to put in context and, and be clear. They asked me. They asked me. They they in some question. Uh, but I I never say that. Is affecting. No. If I say that, I don't remember because my English is coming worse and worse. And you know, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't know. Eh? I, I don't want to lie, but I don't believe that I say that. Is it? We were talking about you know the judgment on the end of the season, like this and that, and that, and that, but 
if if I feel that I am under scrutiny, you know, and under judgment, that that was I think was a little bit a question from the from the people. But I say uh, what I see, what I I say, uh, I don't remember so well now. But I see enough. It's it's like a it's like a to prove, you know. Is to prove after all these circumstances and all this situation, you know, that we deserve to be. That was in the last few weeks. Deserve to to be here next season. I say, who is going to judge me? I need to judge, you know, m m ourselves, and then, the, of course, to the player. And but I think with all the circumstances, but uh, I wanted to say that it's enough with this type of rumors, you know, that if. I have one year more contract here, and no one say nothing. Suppose that I'm going to be here. Only if, you know, when then it's finished the season, and someone say to me, ciao, you know? Uh, because we don't know at the moment. I suppose that I have one year more contract, and I'm going to be here. But, you know, enough is about to uh, stupid rumors, you know? Because uh, you need to ask the club. If the club want me to to keep going or not, no, not to write things that have no sense, you know. Okay, we we'll do two more, and then we we'll finish for the night, Jacob, and then Mike. Maurizio, the, the home form to start the season was not so good, but the last few not so few, good. The last few months has started to become, you know, the team is is, be, is so big. Do you think opposing teams will be? They're getting scared to come here. See, we talk about performance. I think we are, we are for sure. If we deserve points, and talking about performance, we are in the top four. The result and competing is different. And I agree with you that we didn't compete well. But per talking about performance, I think we are in the top six for sure. But, but, the, but at home, do you think teams now the atmosphere here feels very different in the crowd to the way it was? Start the season, the fans but it's difficult to appreciate that. It's difficult for me. Today was fantastic. The the help of the of the fans. And you feel like opposing teams are going to be scared now to come here. Uh, you need to ask the the opponent. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that it's true that the last season the, the 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 team was suffering a little bit. You know, they struggled to win here, and now we are doing fantastic in the last uh, few months, and that is good for the for the team. Okay, last question, Mike. Um, your last four games are West Ham, Forest, Bournemouth and Brighton. Um, some fans might think there's lots of points to be had there. But the most that, dangerous that's game. That's the most dangerous, dangerous game. Thinking, yes, it? the most dangerous game because now it's about, you know, to keep the same mentality for Sunday. And Sunday is going to be, we are going to play again a team that is so strong, physicality. You know, uh, West Ham is, is uh, doing a fantastic season also, in, uh, competing in, uh, in Europe. Uh, and for us, we need to recover the players. We don't have too many options, maybe to add fresh people to the to the pitch. They they had the, the whole week to to prepare the game. That is why the most dangerous game is uh, are coming. Okay. Look at that. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.